Good morning, global politicians. So I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're still reading the news. Lots of important things that are happening. So I'm just going to explain what you're doing in this week's lesson. So this week's we're going to be uh, still learning at fact, we're still looking at factors that inhibit or prohibit development. Um, so you're going to do some visual note taking this week. Um, you're going to do a bit of a simulation um, of what it's like to farm in a third world country. And we're going to look at some examples of environmental factors that inhibit development. First thing you're going to do, um, so you've all by now, I'm sure, completed your slides, economic, social and institutional factors that inhibit development. So what you need to do is you now need to do some visual note taking on this. This is, you know, it may seem like you're doing the same thing twice, but visual note taking is really, really good for retention and comprehension. I will attach the tutorial if you need to rewatch it. Um, you know, you've all, I've had a look at all your visual notes. Um, I'm going to show you a, uh, an example in a minute of the sort of standard I'm expecting. Okay. Because if it's just a page of notes, that's not visual note taking, that's just note taking. Um, and your notes need to be sub submitted to Manage Bag, same as before, as a, uh, you know, a JPEG, PDF, etc., by Monday, next Monday at 11.30. So this is, an example of good visual note taking. You can see there are diagrams, there's a mind map, there are symbols. Um, you know, this is the type of work I'm expecting. Okay, so do this properly because it will help you later. So that's the first thing. And this is obviously much easier if you've already done the work that you're meant to do. If you haven't, then it's going to be lots of work for you this week. Um, so activity two, which hopefully should be a bit more interesting, farming simulation. So what you have to do is you have to go to the third world farming simulator. Um, it comes up the screen like this, just click play now. Basically what you have to do is it simulates um, you being a farmer in the third world. You have to choose what to grow, what to build, what to sell. There are different problems you will come up with. I think it's fairly straightforward. It's pretty easy. If you click on things, you get information. Um, you know, you have things to sell. Here are a list of things to buy. Uh, sorry, to grow. Um, and you'll face different problems. So basically, play the simulation. But this is really important. Keep a note of the issues you faced in your farming. So as you go, have a notepad, have a tab open, and just write down all of the problems that you faced. And it is difficult. It's not meant to be easy. Um, so basically, once you've played the game, I hope it doesn't get like nation states where you'll get addicted to it, um, especially now you have a lot of time on your hands. You know, play responsibly. Um, we're going to look at some environmental factors. So you're going to fill in, uh, based on your farming simulation, this chart. So these are all the problems, the types of problems that inhibit development. Um, they're may not be you know three political challenges you faced in this game there may only be one that's fine just put one there may not be three social problems you faced in this game um you know i played it for about 20 minutes and i came up with you know i faced economic institutional social uh political and environmental factors so i'm sure as i know some of you will play this for a long time you should be able to fill it all in so just type in the problem you faced and an example, the example can be from the game, it can be in the real world. Okay. Um, and very simple, you're just going to fill up your slide. Play the game as much as you need to fill it in. Um, and it goes without saying, any work that is, uh, you know, unfinished, you need to catch up. A reminder that it is, yeah, you know, coming up to the end of April. So be aware that another test will be upcoming. As ever, I'll be on Google Hangouts. I'll be on uh, Google Classroom to help you. Uh, don't forget engagement. You can post a question or I can just see you're doing some work and then you'll also get an engagement tick. Thank you and have a good week.